the Chubby Gourmet is in Manila, Philippines. We're here for 10 days to film a food tour. In this episode, we'll be eating lots of organs and authentic Filipino cuisine. Stuff like soup number five. Hmm, I wonder what organs are in that. Wait until the end where we cook some homemade soup number five. Hello everybody, I am the Chubby Gourmet and here I am in Quezon City, Philippines which is actually a part of the greater Manila metro area and today we're going to have a few different dishes at this restaurant called Shobis some are Cebuana, meaning from uh, Cebu City one is called Soup Number no. 5 which I'll explain when we get to the table what that means the other, Bulalo and another one, Maka Non Baka which I'll also surprise you with when we get to the table so those are the three dishes that we're having my Filipino brothers and sisters I'm sure you know right away what those dishes are and you're probably chuckling right now, saying, nah, he's not gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it because I am the chubby gourmet. And you're probably thinking about the soup number five. I bet he doesn't have the balls to do it. And we took a vote on whether I should eat the matanong baka or not. And let's just say the eyes have it. If you like today's episode, please hit that like icon and please subscribe and spank that notification bell so you're updated when we upload new content every Friday. If you don't spank that notification bell, you will not be at full chub. We want our chubby chasers to be at full chub at all times. So come on and let's do it, huh? They actually just told us they do not have the matalong baka. We can get papa itan, which is simply goat intestines. A close second, not as exciting as eyeballs, but we'll have to do for today. Check that out. Blended with ice, mango, and a type of like graham cracker. And cream. It's creamy. I just love all that crushed ice in there from the blender. With the mango flavor is very good. You can see that. Little chunks of mango too. This is just what I needed on this hot, humid day in the Philippines. Look at all the little bits of mango at the bottom. Can't wait till I get there. I'm easy to please. <laughs> well, some more news. Apparently the bulalo, which is bone and with the marrow. Bone marrow is delicious. That would have been great, but they're out of it. Apparently a lot of people like it. So instead of we're getting something called dinak dakan, which is essentially ground pork with onions. And the way people go on and on about it, it should be very tasty at least. Another substitution. But the soup number five is on its way. Before I try this, let me explain what a calamansa is. <laughs> this is a type of lime only grown in the Philippines. Very similar to a kefir lime in Thailand. So what I'm going to do is squirt some of that acid on there. Gonna mix it up. I'm anxious to see what this is like. There's a piece of pork and a little bit of that white sauce. Here it goes. It's almost like a type of mayo, believe it or not. I know it's not mayonnaise, but reminiscent. The pork is very tasty, actually, very tender. Oh, it is tasty. No wonder they were going on about it. A little rice. Good stuff. So the soup number five came. And for those of you that do not know what it is, these pieces of meat are chopped up bull penis and testicles. And surprise, surprise, it's rumored to give men fertility and strength. So I'm gonna reluctantly put some into my soup dish bowl and see what this is all about. Oh, here it goes. The chubby gourmet is gonna try soup number five. Extremely tender. It doesn't, it's not bad, honestly. A little salty, not overly salty, a little salt to the broth. Slightly gelatinous, but soft and tender. Not bad. 
super tender, fatty pieces of meat. It, it, it could be anything. Unless I told you that it was testicles and penis meat, you would never guess it. Unless you're familiar, like in the States. In Montana, they have what's called Rocky Mountain Oysters, which are just the testicles. It's my first time trying it, so I would never have guessed it. Next up, we have papayitan, which is soup made with goat small intestines. So let's see what that's all about. Try some of the broth first. This they put citrus in there. There's a little sourness to it. Let me grab a chunk of intestine. That doesn't taste like intestine. That tastes like liver. Liver too? Both liver and intestine. Okay, correction, it's liver and intestine mixed of the goat. Okay, that must be intestine. Interesting. Their recipe, they opted for citrusy. I did it. Well, we're finishing up our lunch here. From here, we're going to another city in the Metro Manila area. As if we hadn't had enough organs here today, we're gonna have some more organs. Join us, stick around, it should be a good episode. Hello everyone on a thunderstorm rainy evening here in Manila. We're at R&J Bula Lohon. We're gonna have something called Bula Lo, which is bone marrow. So there's a big ox or bull bone and lots of delicious marrow. So it's a delicious Filipino classic we're gonna have tonight. And we're gonna make a second attempt at another soup number five to see how that goes. So it ought to be good, so stick with us. And just to see this whole little hole in the wall, look at the size of the menu, how many items are on it. And I flip it. Flip it good. I mean, lots of stuff on these menus. It's amazing. I get hungry just looking at some of the items, so it ought to be good. I'm looking forward to it. There's a Filipino hard liquor called Tanduay, and I've actually ordered Tanduay Ice, which is basically a watered-down version, not as strong, because Tanduay is a very strong, like, 80-proof uh, alcohol. So I got this to drink, and I'm really anxious, because people have been telling me, oh, you gotta have Tanduay. Well, now I'm sort of having it. Wait, I need another swill. It's got a flavor, but nothing I can compare to gin or rum or anything like that. Plus, it's very watered down, it's iced, so definitely different. Tasty, fruity. Okay, at first I've got some rice and I've got my bulalo. The only way I can imagine eating marrow is using your hands. But first I wanna try the meat. Very tender, as expected. And you can see the marrow, which I'm just gonna suck out of there. Oh, creamy. Marrow is the delicacy. Get some rice with the broth. Oh, wow. Not a whole lot of flavor, I mean beef flavor, not a lot of seasoning. The uh, meat is super tender, and the marrow, of course, is just a creamy delicacy. I'm glad I finally had bulalo. It's a vegetable called kong kong. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's... And there's a spicy paste, which is why I ordered it, actually. Not that I wanted to eat my veggies. Unfortunately, the only vegetable I could compare it to accurately is called Kongsing Chai, which is chi a Chinese vegetable. And the spicy paste is almost like a bagong, fermented shrimp paste. It's not fermented shrimp paste, but it reminds me of it. Not as salty, nearly. A fun way to get your veggies. I'm about to try our second soup number five. They would not allow us to see the wiener, but that's okay, because go to the videotape. I know somebody in Butuan City who knows how to make soup number five. And here it is. Wow, she's certainly got a lot of balls. What the hell, I actually ate this? Twice? Never thought I'd see her holding a big wiener. Looks like she diced it all up. Ouch! Oh, 
wala yun na siya tanahon. tasting pretty good actually had a bit of a wang to it but let me get rid of this big ladle see you ladle wow this one's definitely much saltier than the last one it's hard to tell which is which i wonder what that is i think it's testicle oh same consistency as the last one, which doesn't surprise me. Definitely way saltier. Tender meat. How does it feel to eat chicken ball? Just like eating any other organ meat. I'm making a mess. And there you have it, our second rendition of soup number five here in the Philippines. A little too salty for my taste. I, I prefer the first one over it. Well, everyone, we had another version of soup number five. Can't get enough of that soup number five. And we have some bulalo, some King Kong, I mean, Kong Kong. I'd say we got some stuff done today, indicative of the Filipino cuisine and culture. Stay tuned, we've got more establishments, some extremely well-known. We got more coming. If you like what you see, as always, I ask you to please help the channel. Hit that like button and subscribe, but make sure after you subscribe, you spank that notification bell because we want all of our chubby chasers to be at full chub at all times. Well, maybe not at all times, but you know what I mean. So until next time, hasta lasagna. <laughs>